Hello, hello. Welcome back to Lifestyle with Joy. So today I wanted to try something different. And um, if you've seen one of my last few videos, I did a sunglasses case. And I wanted to create one with this pattern here. Um, you can find it on my website at isewithjoy.com. Um, and I've already gone ahead and sketched it out on this piece here. You probably can't see it or it's a little red. But what I want to do uh, with this pattern is I want to add some embroidery to it. So this is faux leather. Um, so I'm going to design something I want to put on here. And then I'm going to add the embroidery. I'm going to be using because, um, cut away as, as opposed to um, to sew on. And, um, and then I'll get this started. So let's go ahead and see how this turns out. It could be good. It could be bad. Either ways, I think it'll look nice. So, hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Come along with me. Okay, no judgments. I um, actually bought this thread, <laughs> I think a year ago, and I absolutely love it. I, I just took it off the, um, took it out, and I haven't had a project to do with it. So I figured, hey, you know what? It's bright. It's spring. I'm going to use it. Maybe it's not springy. It's kind of like a maybe more Halloweeny. The color is twenty four eighty, but why not? So let's do it. And I'm going to be embroidering the robes. I um I wanted to do a very simple design because obviously this is a tryout. So let's see. Okay, so because this is a different kind of fabric and I'm using tearaway, I am actually going to um, spray it with a fusible spray adhesive just so it can hold my stuff down. I'm using what's called a floating method and the reason for this is because I want the design to be on the top flap if you can see what I'm trying to do here and um, for that reason I don't um, I don't want my needle to hit up against the edge of my design so what I'm going to do is just sorry, put this over here and I am going to pin it down So initially I didn't want to um, cut it out, but I think cutting it out makes it easier. So I just did that and I'm going to now go ahead and embroider this. This is a rose and let's get this started. Clearly didn't um, market properly. I thought I did. I actually took measurements, but that's okay. Um, overall, 99.5%. I'm going to say 99.5% on this. So let's go ahead and take it out. It just stitch out beautifully on the back end. Um, disappointed I didn't get the placement right, so that's okay. Um, it just means the part of the design is going to hang off, which is fine. I wasn't planning on selling this or giving it as a gift, although if one of my kids wants it, I am fine with them taking it. And um, yeah, I'm just going to clean out the paper on the back end here, take it out. And uh, yeah, so what this is going to look like, it's basically sunglasses. So this here, I'm going to go ahead and sew this down. And I'm going to sew this down here, and this is going to come up this way. So it's going to be sewn all the way down, stitched down that way. And then um, I'm going to put snaps, well, put one here and one there so that it can it stay there. Although I haven't decided if I want to snap the top or the bottom, but let's get the So all I'm doing is I'm going to sew this and hold it here so that it can have this as a flap. Okay, I, had, I hadn't initially thought about doing this, but I think I will do it. I want to, oh, there's a funky thread here from my embroidery work. 
I want to um, add a loop so that I can hang this around. So I think what I'm going to do, since I already have this piece of fat, um, the full leather clip, I'm going to sew this down and attach it um, like so in here. So that it's something that I can hang up. Um, the bag and string, because it's, it's not much. I'm trying to see if I can actually get it thinner. Oh, it looks like I can, so maybe I will make a really, really skinny string. No, the skinny one would look weird. I'll do it this way, and because it's full leather, it's going to be hard to turn it inside out. But anyway. Color choices. I think I will stick with the orange theme. Well, although this beach is kind of speaking to me, I don't know if this is the same orange as this. It's not. Um, choices, choices. I think I'll go with this one. It's slightly off from the one I was initially looking at and the amount of beach, so I will get this. It's the same. Oops. That was interesting trying to find. Uh, and then I'm gonna tell you that right now, like I have been doing this forever and I never get it right, so I always end up having to look at the picture to take care of it. is to sew this and hook it up. So I want to make sure I'm not too long on the end. That's what it kind of looked like. I don't like it. I like it. Let's get that some down. Okay, that's the attic. Let's Looks. It works. I like it. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Um, yeah, the design of you know, the patterns on my website, but this was not uh, what I initially planned on doing. I was just going to make the fabric, and I figured, hey, I have this full leather. Let me see. So this will be great to hang up um, your lanyard or keychain, and you know, have your glasses. And old school radio glasses. Okay, bye.